Hey merfolk, are you tired of your glamorous mermaid hair getting ruined after a gig going from this to this or even this? Never fear, we're here to help. Use Brandywine Wig Shampoo or Conditioner. You can get this online on Amazon or artawigs.com and dump your wig into the sink full of shampoo and cold water. Massage the hair, making sure to get all those nice bubbles in through the cap and through all of the curls too. Leave your wig to soak for a while and rinse and repeat as necessary. We like to do one round of shampoo, let it soak, one round of conditioner and soak, and then we rinse everything until the water runs clear. Make sure that you get all of those bubbles out. You don't want to leave any soapy residue in your wig. Squeeze it dry very carefully, and then let your wig hang to dry, preferably overnight. Now for detangling. Mermaid Caves is showing you that we're using the same brand of wig detangler spray. Cover it in a generous amount, and then she goes in with a soft bristled brush. Be very careful and very gentle as you're going through brushing out those curls. You don't want to turn any knots or snags into mats. Go slowly and take your time. Be very, very careful, again, when handling those knots because you don't want to break or mat the fibers of the wig. Real hair can bounce back from something like that. Wig hair, since it's synthetic, can't. She's also being very gentle as she's going through the bangs of the wig and she's trying her best not to go through the curls. Use more detangler spray if necessary on really complicated areas of the wig. It feels like it's taking forever. She's pointing out a knot here, but just take your time. Once it's detangled, use a household steamer to help relax the fibers of the hair. Hold it away from your face just so you don't get burned with a nice big ring of steam. And gently pass the steamer through the hair. Again, this will relax the fibers and make it a lot easier to comb through any knots or tangles that your brush couldn't have gotten through before. Go through the hair again with that soft bristled brush. Take your time. It should be a lot easier to go through and find those areas that are a little bit more complicated to brush out. Brushing a wig does take a long time, but it's worth it in the end, especially if you're reusing a wig over and over for swim gigs. Now use a finer tooth brush. This is a wig brush specifically from Amazon and go through those curls. Start at the bottom and work your way up. Again, if you hit a tangle or a snag, work through it with your fingers, hit it with some more detangle spray, and make sure that you get everything smooth before continuing. The last thing you wanna do is damage the hair. Getting more detangler spray again, she is making sure to get the underside of the wig hair too. If you need to, clip sections of the hair up and away as you get the under layers. These places closest to your neck or your costume are often really, really tangled. So now we're switching to Mist's wig. She's just going to walk you through the same process here. Again, using that soft bristled brush and combing through all of the knots and tangles. Swim wigs are hard to take care of sometimes, but it'll be worth it, especially if you have a repeat gig. Now, on to curling. Now, Mermaid Kalis is showing you that she's using foam rollers to style Mist's wig. Steam the hair and get it damp and nice and warm. Comb through it with that fine tooth wig brush, and then roll your curl onto the foam roller, and very carefully secure it with the bar that comes with the curler. Hard work, right? <laughs> Go through the rest of the wig. See, it's looking cute already. Hey, I know what you are. Steaming mad. Keep on trucking. It will take you a while. Plenty of time for jokes though. Hey, yeah. how do you style the little Long Island mermaid's hair? How? With some mist. Curling the wig completely can take a while, but the end result is always worth it. Woo, we're done! And now she's showing you that you can also, instead of using foam rollers, you can use spoolies too. These you can get at CVS or Harman Beauty, and they often provide the same exact effect without using an actual curler. They do the same job though. You can roll them up and then secure them with a bobby pin. That's what it looks like when your head's full of spoolies. <laughs> now 
for the steaming. Go through and steam every pinned curl with your household steamer. Notice how Mermaid Kalis is holding a plastic bag in her hand, and now you're gonna do something they told you never to do as a kid. Put the plastic bag around the wig head, making sure to cover each and every section of the curled hair. Why are we doing this, you ask? Well, it's not hazardous to a wig head considering it is not a living thing, but it will trap the heat from the steamer and make sure that the curls stay nice and hot so that they can set even better. Hit the bag with steam and then pin the bag closed so that the steam locks in there for a longer amount of time. Then you can let the steam curls rest overnight. Voila! And now it's time to take the curlers out a day later. Remove that fatal plastic bag from the wig head and there are all of your curls waiting to be undone. Go through them very carefully one at a time. Start unrolling them. If you prefer a look that isn't ringlets, you can always brush through with your fingers later to loosen up those curls, but you can also get really nice sausage curls from this effect. The steam is a really great way to manipulate the plastic fibers of the wig into doing pretty much whatever you want them to do. And soon enough, you'll have a beautiful new set of curly, bouncy, luscious mermaid hair that will take you to your gig looking absolutely mermazing. And here's Mermaid Kalis with her softer beachier waves that you can get from the spoolie. You'll look fantastic until you start swimming and swimming and swimming in your aquarium gig and have to do it all over again. No one ever said mermaiding was easy. Well, we hope this helped you out. Thanks again for tuning in to our tutorial and we hope we'll see you in the next one. Keep swimming.